Oh, hey, guys. Um, you'll have to excuse me. I'm off to defend my title for clumsiest person alive, so I'll see you guys later. Well, I might as well talk about some trash, since I'm in the trash. Welcome to my new series, Trash Reviews, where I'll be taking a look at the trashier side of cinema. This includes a lot of no-budget movies, and a lot of films that are sleazier than YouTube would probably appreciate. Today we're looking at a classic by the godfather of filth himself, John Waters, and that would be Multiple Maniacs. Yes, folks, this isn't any cheap X-rated movie or any fifth-rate porno play. This is the show you want. Lady Divine's Cavalcade of Perversions, the Silesia show on Earth. Here's something you can feel free to judge me for if you'd like, but my favorite director of all time is actually John Waters. True, he makes absolutely disgusting movies, but there is a charm to them. And looking at his career in filmmaking and how it developed over the years, he's become a huge inspiration to me. This is a guy who went and saw where everyone else was going, and he went the other way. His movies are made in incredibly bad taste, especially his earlier stuff, but that's kind of the point. They're made to deliberately turn you off. What I truly admire about John Waters is that he started out with nothing. He had no money, no experience in film, and so he got together with a bunch of his friends, this little group of misfits, and they made movies anyway. He started out making these little short films and showing them in his church basement. His most notorious movie would probably be Pink Flamingos, and that's probably my favorite, but before he made that, his first two feature films were Mondo Trasho and the movie we're talking about today, Multiple Maniacs. As popular as Pink Flamingos is, I think John Waters owes his entire career to Multiple Maniacs. And just to give fair warning, I'm gonna have spoilers for pretty much the whole movie, or at least all the big, very offensive stuff. Hey, look, I'm stuck in a trash can. I'll do this video however I want. Multiple Maniacs is the movie that truly introduced us to John Waters' gift to all us demented fucks out there. Divine. If you want a small taste of what John Waters' movies are really like, just watch any of her monologues. Oh, Divine! You're still beautiful! Nothing that has happened can change that! Oh, I love you! I love your sickness! I love your crimes! I love your murder! Multiple Maniacs, much like many of John Waters' movies, is an experiment in bad taste. The film opens up in Lady Divine's Cavalcade of Perversion, where we see a lot of stuff that was rather taboo for 1970. Because of so-called guardians of public decency, we are not permitted to describe to you in any way the collection, the hardcore, live, in-person monstrosity that we have with us tonight. There is a lot in here that I can't show because YouTube will get its knickers in a twist. Nudity, puke-eating, armpit-licking, any act of perversion that you can think of, it's in this opening scene. The low production quality only adds to the sleaziness of the film. Cheap, raunchy, and sleazy. That's what this movie's all about. You're sick, we'll never get out of What did you say? Oh. I said you're sick and repulsive. Oh. And you, my dear, are dead. Oh. I said you're sick, my man. As you can see, most of these scenes have only one camera angle, and it zooms in and out of whoever's talking at the time. This particular filmmaking style was quite common in John Waters' earlier movies. But as he continued making films, you saw his filmmaking style improve. And this was without going to film school. The basic premise of the movie is you have Lady Divine who runs this circus of perversion. She takes this sleazy show from town to town with the intention of committing crimes in each state. 
robbery, murder, you name it. Meanwhile, her boyfriend is fed up with her and starts dating a different perverted individual. I love you so fucking much. I could shit. There have never been more romantic words. So he and his new lover plan to murder Divine. Meanwhile, Divine finds out about her boyfriend's treachery and plots to murder him. With the help of her new lesbian lover that she met in a church. We'll get into that in a minute. Oh, but I don't even know your name. It's Mink. But lots of people just call me the religious poor. Oh, Mink, it was a wonderful experience. Throughout the film, we see some of the most sleazy, dirty, offensive acts that you can picture in a movie. But they're done in kind of an endearing way. It's hard to explain. Everyone involved in the film was just somebody who was a friend of John Waters. Every location they filmed in was found through just people he knew. For example, the bar in the film was just a bar that he and his friends would hang out at. And the woman working at the bar was literally someone working in the bar. Edith, who went on to play Edie the Egg Lady in Pink Flamingos. Pete! Yes? Yeah, there's a blonde in here. Hey, blondie! Telephone call. For me? He had an affinity for the weirdos, which might be one of the reasons why I was drawn to his films, because I am a bit of a weirdo, if you can't tell. But let's get into the offensive stuff, because I know that's why you're here. What we see in this movie might rival what we see in Pink Flamingos. There's a reference to the Manson family murders, which took place just a year before this movie came out. You are wanted for murder now, and they usually catch murderers. Oh, and how about you, Mr. Angel? How about your being an accomplice? And how about Sharon Tate? How about that? I told you never to mention that again! There are numerous acts of perversion. <laughs> and that's the lightest stuff. Trust me, there is a lot in this movie that I cannot show on YouTube. But the most controversial moment in this movie would have to be when Divine has a lesbian sex scene in a church. While at the same time, there is a reenactment of the crucifixion. She kissed me as if Christ himself had ordered every move of her experienced tongue. It was suddenly... I was suddenly uncontrollable. Now, I try to be respectful of everybody's belief system or lack of belief system. But I believe no matter what religion you're a part of, what your politics are, I think everyone needs to be offended every now and again. Everyone needs to be taken down a notch. Every single group out there, no matter what side you're on, has their uptight assholes. It has their snobs. And those are the people that John Waters likes to poke at. After all, art is made to disturb the peace. Would I call this art? Well, it depends on your definition. For me, it is. One man's art is another man's trash. Is this offensive? Oh, hell yeah. Is it blasphemous? Oh, hell yeah. But you can't deny that it will leave an impact on you. Sometimes, to get people's attention, you have to punch them right in their comfort zone. And what's a bigger punch to the comfort zone than hearing about a rosary job? Or hearing screams of sexual ecstasy over the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. To carry the cross behind our Lord, my most beloved Jesus, I will not refuse the cross as the Cyrenian did. I accept it. I embrace it. I accept in particular the death that has destined for me. The movie continues with a lot of nudity, plenty of acts of violence, and then it ends in the only way that it could end. By Divine getting raped by a giant lobster. <laughs> This drives her to insanity, so she runs out onto the city streets, terrorizing various people, until the National Guard is called to gun her down. Uh, well, that ending makes perfect sense to me. Multiple Maniacs is definitely an experience in trash and sleaze. It's obviously not a movie for everyone, which is going to be the case in the majority of movies I cover in this series. 
But it is an interesting introduction to underground cinema, and I also think it's important to film in general. It shows that you can deal with very controversial subject matters. I do believe that if it weren't for filmmakers like John Waters, we wouldn't have the freedom in independent cinema that we do today. Brave movie fans should give multiple maniacs a shot. Just be ready for something cheap and sleazy. And I mean sleazy with a capital S. Thank you all for joining me in my first episode of Trash Reviews. Let me know what you think of this weird idea for a series, and please comment and subscribe to help out this channel so I can do more weird stuff like this. Oh, and if you could, please send some help, because I'm gonna be here for a while.